I've been utilizing Photomine for five years since my retirement, and this review reflects my experiences during that time. The Photomine application exists in two forms, a phone application displayed on the right and a web application. The image above showcases the albums my father made for his children, along with all the albums my wife and I have compiled since the early 1970s. This collection amounts to approximately 10,000 photographs. And if we include our digital photos beginning from the year 2000, that number triples. Photomine offers two applications, one for phones and another for the web. In both, the albums are sorted by most recently created. The phone application is not in sync with their database because I have created 35 albums since the one on top here. I have reported this bug, but it has not been addressed, and for that reason, I do not use the phone application anymore. The first album in the phone application is Moody Gardens, but I can scroll down six lines in the web application before I locate the Moody Gardens album. Album details typically include three key pieces of information, the title, release date, and recording location. Pop-up dialog boxes are used to enter the album information. Instead of using three pop-up dialog boxes to input album details, one could opt for a side panel that remains visible for entering that information, as well as additional details that would apply to all the photographs in the album. These photographs were scanned with an Epson Fast Photo FF 680W scanner. These are the original faded photographs taken in 1972. The Epson scanner can generate original and restored versions of the same photographs. We are using the restored versions for this review. Image details typically include four key pieces of information, the comment, release date, recording location, and person tags. My initial significant frustration with Photomine stemmed from its inability to transfer album information onto the images. For instance, in a wedding album, each photo would share the same date and location, and the album's title could be beneficial in the image comments. An album containing 50 photographs requires the user to type the same date 50 times and copy slash paste is not a big help since the date is entered in three separate fields. Imagine the frustration labeling 10,000 photographs. An alternative to requiring the user label each photograph individually is to allow information from the album to be easily applied to each image. The highlighted buttons on the main toolbar allows this to happen. The highlighted button on the properties panel allows the labels to be previewed on the screen. After the user chooses what album information to copy to the image, clicking on the download button on the property toolbar will copy that album information to the selected photograph. Another enhancement to the user interface is the concept of shortcuts, which are words that begin with an at sign and are expanded to their actual value when the label is created. Clicking on the Label Preview button on the Properties Panel toolbar allows the user to see what the label looks like when drawn on the image. Clicking on the Shortcuts button on the main toolbar displays the shortcut text editor. Each line begins with a word that is preceded by an at symbol. The remainder of the line represents the text that will replace the shortcut when the data is downloaded to the image or the label is previewed. There are three dots at the end of the comment property. When those dots are clicked on, a text editor is launched to make it easier to enter multi-line text for the comment. Photomine images can be downloaded to your computer with or without labels one at a time. The album can be downloaded as a zip file, but the images are not labeled in this case.
Another complaint I'm made to support is the fact the images are labeled with a cryptic name that only a computer geek could love, speaking as a computer geek myself. At a minimum, the images should be labeled like a digital camera does it, by using the date taken as the image name. This makes it easy to organize your photographs by the date of the event being photographed. Another bug I reported to support is the fact that some punctuation is lost when you move away from an image then return. In this example, the leading single quote around the name Rudy is missing. Downloading original files is not necessary when working on your own computer versus a web application. Generating label versions should be as easy as selecting the images and pressing a button. When an image is displayed, a labeled version can be exported by clicking on the Label Export button on the Properties toolbar. This button is grayed out until the Label Preview is enabled. Labeled photographs are created in a subfolder called Labeled. Note when the user navigates into the Label folder and clicks on the newly exported image, there appears to be duplicate labels. That is caused by the fact that the image has the label embedded in it, and the Label Preview button is still active. Clicking on the Label Preview button will disable the preview, and the image will now have a single label. The user can also select multiple images, and then click on the Export Labels button on the main toolbar. This button is enabled when one or more images is selected. The labeled images are exported to the Labeled subfolder. Since my primary reason for using Photomine is to label my photographs, the fact that they force the user to download labeled images one at a time crosses the line from not being user-friendly to being user-hostile. The user should be able to select the images to be exported with labels and export them as a single operation. As a computer programmer myself, this type of inefficiency is motivation to write my own program. Photomine gives the user the ability to save selected images without labels. The images, album text, and image text are all contained in a single zip file. After extracting the zip file into a folder on a user's disk, there is a subfolder called Album 1. In that folder is a text file called details.txt, which is the album information. For every photograph in Album 1, there is a corresponding text file for that file's label information. Ideally, Photomine should download all labeled images, since that is likely the goal of using Photomine in the first place. A user-friendly application that sees the images with their corresponding text files will do what Photomine failed to do, that is, modify the images to contain the label information as image metadata. This prevents the user from having to enter the labeled data a second time and makes it easy to generate labeled versions of the images.
The details view of the image illustrates none of the label information is stored in the file's metadata. We just observed that there is no metadata in the image files containing the user's label information. That data is instead in separate text files, which does the user no good if the goal was to have a labeled version of the image. When the user navigates to the album folder with Photo Explorer, it recognizes the pattern of having a details.txt file and images with corresponding text files and will automatically add the metadata to the images and finish the job that Photomine failed to do. Photomine allows the user to download all photos from the home page. Instead of a single folder labeled Album 1, there will be a folder for every album in the user's database. After extracting the folders from the downloaded zip file, the result is 926 folders representing a couple of years of work scanning our family albums. Instead of labeling the folders with the folder title, Arbitrary names are given which makes it very difficult to relate the folders with the original albums on Photomine. A program was written to correct this problem. When the user navigates to the folder extracted from the zip file with Photo Explorer, it will examine the subfolders looking for the details.txt file in each subfolder and the images with corresponding text files. Upon determining this pattern, the folder rename button on the main toolbar will become active. Clicking on this button will start the process of renaming album folders with meaningful names like Photomine failed to do. The albums have now been renamed using the date taken and title information to make it easy to relate these folders with the original Photomine albums. The folder will also sort by the date of the event they represent. When the user navigates into the subfolders and clicks on an image, the label information is already integrated into the images. One of my first requests of Photomine support was to store the label information in the files that were downloaded. Their response to me was that images cannot contain text. I guess they had never seen what a modern digital camera stores in a photograph. If you upload modern digital photographs, all the metadata in the file will be removed, so do not replace your originals if you want to preserve this information. When I started on the Photo Explorer project a couple of months ago, I had no experience with the structure of image files. The first month was just getting up to speed with how they worked. One of the first problems I encountered was my thumbnails in some case were not oriented correctly. As it turns out, there is an orientation property in the image metadata that controls this. One thing this illustrates is that the Photomine engineers have a similar lack of knowledge if they believe images cannot contain text information. The result of the years I spent digitizing all my father's and my family's albums was a nearly 600-page paperback book with over 2,000 photographs published on Amazon Kindle. 
problems with image quality forced me to rescan the photographs in the book with an Epson fast photo scanner. Glare and reflections in low resolution made the Photomine images unusable. The one feature of Photomine that made me renew my subscription was its image sharpening, which worked very well, and the photographs in the book benefited from this feature. Photomine has good image processing, but the user interface is very inefficient by forcing the user to make repetitive entries. Labeled images must be downloaded one at a time. None of the data entry is recorded in the image metadata. Downloaded files and albums have arbitrary names instead of using logical names like titles and or dates. There are bugs where punctuation is removed from labels. The phone version does not synchronize reliably with the web database.